Every day we face a deluge of information. Keeping up with it can be a burden, searching through it a nightmare. So finding the information you need, and only what you need, is more essential than ever. says the board's nervous about us going into so many markets at once, so uh, we're going to have to update our product feasibility study before the letters proceed. Great, that's something I can really sink my teeth into. Once by the end of the week. Okay. We'll need uh, current market share data, new financials, an analyst report. I'd like you to handle searching the trade journals. You know, in the last study, we went back about five years. Beef it up. <laughs> I know. Look, you guys did a great job on the original study, but uh, Dan's just not comfortable. Still? Maybe I should buy him an armchair for his office. <laughs> no. But we need something. Which is why you're calling. Dan keeps asking for more backup data. Well, he just wants to be sure that our way is the best way. Okay, Catherine. I'll get Sarah and we'll crank something out. Great. I knew I could count on you. Thanks, Paul. Okay. If you need to go back five or ten years in these journals, try one of these industry categories. Oh, okay. So, how's it going? Found anything? Know anything about a company called Cylon? Ooh, those guys. <laughs> Nothing worth remembering. Mike found that on one of the news wires. They're introducing a new product. And it looks like they're on the same track we are. Better see what else you can turn up about this. Or, uh, anything else on Cylon. This is what I need now is an analyst report. No problem. Okay. First thing we'll do is... Whether it's up to the minute business news, a legal question that demands an answer, or a new development in technology, the longer you wait for the information you need, the harder it is to stay competitive. And if you can't find this critical data, how do you make informed decisions? Cylon? I gotta look into this. I think we found enough. Let's go with it. There's one more place we can look. take a look at this. It's a conference paper by Dr. Leo Hansen. I've got some great info on our friends at Cylon. I'm great. <laughs> this dialogue service, I tell you. Now, if I could only find the average flight speed of an African swallow. <laughs> I'll just go back to my office. Whatever business you're in, whether you're launching a product or providing an important service, you need an online information system that cuts across departmental lines, from marketing and sales to legal to research and development. Got it. This, uh, Here you go. Oh, thanks, Mike. Sure. The Cylon thing's getting to be a real problem. I mean, we've worked too hard on this project. It... I don't want to see them beat us to market. If we only had a trump card. Mm. What do you mean? Okay. Let's hear it. Well, Sarah and I have found a conference paper written by a Dr. Leo Hansen. It describes a process that could possibly give us the edge we need. So naturally, we checked out the patents. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Turns out, Hansen himself owns the patent. Great. 
So, uh, let's get a licensing agreement with this guy right away. Fine. But I'll call him. Okay. And you've got a number to reach him. I wanted to ask you something. Yes, Dr. Henson. We're very interested in your process. We'd like to get you out here as soon as possible. The advantage of having access to a comprehensive resource is simple. You're constantly discovering things you absolutely needed to know, but didn't know you needed. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> so? In a nutshell, the product's not feasible. Not feasible? Not in its current form. Some uh, new developments have come up. Tell me. Has to do with Cylon. Those guys? Believe it or not, they... But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let me tell you about Dr. Hansen. Paul and Sarah... Lee... In today's highly competitive global marketplace, one company delivers the highest quality, most comprehensive and up-to-date information and delivers it easily, instantly, and constantly. Your single source for the information age.